came to the ring and he had some words after that match Tuesday night from the Coliseum. Here's Cornette. What kind of animal? What kind of animal would do this when I first hit the Memphis city limits? The people told me, they said, the king ain't going to go down in Memphis, Tennessee. Jerry the King Lawler is not going to lose in Memphis, Tennessee, but I didn't know to what lengths he would stoop. Lawler, you got in that ring against the giant, against the monster, and you couldn't find the chink in the armor. You couldn't find the Achilles heel. So what did you do when all those thousands of your subjects had come from every part of Memphis and all the surrounding areas, and they were standing on their feet, and they were cheering you on, and you knew you were about to lose? You resorted to the most vile act that I've ever seen, one human being perpetrate on another. You know this man was disfigured in a fire. You know that he lost the sight of one eye in a fire. He's blind in one eye. If that means he can only see out of the other. And you, somehow that fire-making apparatus that you always carry around, that didn't work. So what did you do? You took a common, ordinary lighter. You flicked it. And with that flame turned up all the way, you stuck it into that man's good eye and tried to put it out. Well, he nearly lost his sight forever, Lawler. But not quite. You didn't quite get the job done. But you've got to look at yourself in the mirror, Jerry Lawler, and you've got to ask yourself, what kind of animal are you? And I think that everybody, from Landy Hales, Memphis Power Pro Wrestling, all the way to every governing body that professional wrestling has, should ban you, Jerry Lawler, ban you from ever participating in another heinous act like this by banning you from the ring forever. Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, Lawler, what have I become? What have I turned into? What kind of animal would do this to another human being? Well, we hope to have Jerry Lawler right here to respond, but uh, he has not arrived yet. We still hope to hear from him later on in the program.